precious Lamb of God, Messiah. the God of Jacob. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for your grace and we thank you for your mercy. Father, we thank you for your unending love towards us. Lord, you do greater things both in heaven and on the earth. And we thank you and magnify your name. Father, we come before you to hear from your word. And Father, as we go into this world, Lord, prepare our mind, prepare our conscience, prepare our emotions, prepare our intellect. And Father, as we look into the intimacy with Christ, may you let this word sink into our mind. May you let this word speak life. May you let this word deliver us. And Father, to understand the depth of our Lord Jesus Christ. To understand the witness of our Lord Jesus Christ. To understand the hate of our Lord Jesus Christ. As Father in all, we shall receive the fullness of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we may reach, Father, onto your head to understand you more for the glory of your name. And we also subject every spirit and every demon, the spirit of confusion, every kind of deviation, we rebuke in the name of Jesus Christ. We destroy the spirit of Jezebel. We destroy the spirit of Samba. We destroy the principality in the name of Jesus Christ. We engage every poor in the name of Jesus Christ. And we pray that every spirit be subject to the supremacy of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, we thank you that even as we are giving the word, we shall not speak a word, but Father, speak your word. And may you allow your spirit to overshadow us and take us into this world. In Jesus' name we pray. Um, I thank God for today and I thank Englishman God bless you yeah you actually you've surprised me and I was so happy I, I, if I if I was a teacher uh, in the school during school times you would be getting free lunch yeah, for, for like for a whole month. Yeah, and uh, I, God bless you. And those who have really understood the subject you are on. Yeah, may God bless you so much. Last Sunday we ended up uh, 
Now we wrapped up the, the seven or nine things that happened on the cross. Sunday, and, and of course we looked at preparation of the wedding and we also looked at the redemption of the cross and that was an antidote of crucifixion what we call crucifixion now we are going into another antidote yeah. Remember, remember, we are looking at the antidotes that help us overcome us. covenant, sexual covenant, and everything that we have faced, spiritual covenant in our life. So number one was tear up in the ark. And then number two was crucifixion. But in crucifixion, then we get we went into the details to understand the purpose of the cross. To understand the subjection of days of our bodies and also to understand the amazing thing that happened on the cross now we are bringing into antidote number three which is called intimacy with Christ and we want to understand and these are the things we are going to look at under intimacy one we are going to look at Definition of intimacy, what is intimacy? Number two, we are going to look at misconception about the intimacy with Christ. And number three, we are going to look at the types of intimacy with Christ. Number four, we are going to look at how do we intimate with Christ? And then number five, we are going to look at the purpose of the intimacy. I'm going to rewind a little bit. We have, these are the things we are going to look at under the subject of intimacy as an antidote or what we have been discussing before. We have been to everyone see one to a go back at next to a So number one, we're going to look at the definition of intimacy. Then we're going to look at number two as misconception about intimacy with Christ. And then number three, we are going to look at the types of the intimacy. Then number four, we are going to look at how do we intimate with Christ. Oh, how do we intercourse with Christ? And then um, number is it number five? Number five, what is that purpose of the intimacy? And uh, actually the purpose normally it's like a highlight. Then uh, benefits are the ones that uh, means to you get the purposes are quite different. And then we shall also look at the benefits of the intimacy. Right. So you can see that we are not about to end something that and we we haven't we are still on Jezebel, but we just shifted it away. So yeah, from lo loss of destination and destiny, I know that we are still at this point. Yeah, and in fact, how do we even recover all the destinies? These are the answers we are looking at. So, uh, one thing that I want you to understand is that intimacy is different is different from proximity. Yes, proximity is 
coming near to a person. Oh, 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 the thing about saying is joining or is like being dipped with someone or fusing with someone. Where it's called like where two shall become one. So how does the church get or how does the church fulfill the intimacy of Christ? In the flesh shall become one, two flesh shall become one. Katile Kanisa, a two kinizetia of Menanga Yega Sene Christu, Nevadoka de Matuko Mobili Gumu. And of course, we're going to look at the profound mystery that is found behind, behind that one. I tell you, Gena Kutu, Ida Devia, Ma Egen Jaulo, Evi Mamega Wacha Chigambo. So when we talk about intimacy with Christ, we talk we talk about the intercourse with Christ. We're talking about the Katana Christu, to the Gaza Dela Oka Yingra Moku Fuko Muna Christu. So maybe. Even before I give you what I have, I would also want to ask you how what you understand by intimacy. Can someone maybe give us uh, what is intimacy anyway? Is there anyone who can give us a trial? Mr. What Chairman, sir. Can you, can you give us something? What is intimacy? I want chairman, but I'm not going to chairman. Uh, intimacy. Yeah. 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 To me, to my understanding. Uh, if, if, you are, if you are intimate with someone, it doesn't, it doesn't really stop at the, at the outside. Part of it. But it goes even deep inside. In other words, it stretches from your heart. So it's, it's not just an outside look. Like you may be engaged with someone. But if you if you really intimate with that person. It will go even deep inside your brain. Even your heart will be taken out. So, so it, there is an improvement between a spirit soul. Not just the fresh from the that's, that's what I understand. May God bless you. Okay, according to the definition of uh, chairman, how many of you are married and are intimate with your uh, with your spouses? Because according to the, the definition, it talks about the more of the innermost. And the way I see most marriages, they are based on the physical attraction. Right? So, how many of you are intimate even with it? Okay. Uh, maybe Mrs. Chayune, she wants to tell us. You raise your. Hey, okay. So, it's only one, it's only Mrs. Chayune. Yeah, you are not sure. Oh, but you are not sure. <laughs> <laughs> you are not sure or you are you, now remembering about what you did. Am I really deep? <laughs> okay, let's look at the definition of it, but I'm going to give you like five like four definitions. And, and this is to do with Christ. And still, and, and I'm going to give you, I'm going to be, uh, I don't know, I'm going to be using the metaphor, or I'm going to be using the picture of the family of a married couple versus Christ and the church, right? Because that's how you're going to understand it better. Yeah, just like the way you know how you get deep with your husband, how you get deep with your wife. 
then it is the same thing that we have to do with Christ. But then we need to understand how do we do that. So the definition of it must be first of all it means it is defined as the innermost thoughts. The feelings proceeding or maybe concerning Okay. Okay. I'm going to define it like this. It is the innermost feelings. The innermost thoughts. Proceeding from or concerning or affecting one's innermost self. Or maybe it's, we can say it's an inner being expression towards a person or someone you love. Or maybe it's a feeling that one with with your spirit no no more with your soul and with your body no and and your heart always yearns for that maybe you are i can i can repeat again for you to understand it better can she now, intimacy is defined, is defined as the innermost feeling. The innermost thoughts. Proceeding from. Concerning or affecting one's innermost self. And normally we can say it's the inner being expression towards someone you love. Uh, which concerns the spirit, the body, and the soul. And it's what your heart yearns for. So it talks about in actually intimate because it's you know it's it begins with in. In means inner It's something which is in. You know, uh, the world has corrupt, has been corrupted so much. The extent. When you talk about intimacy, it means that the only the only know uh, how to do with the woman. Bo, but so when we talked about intimacy, last time we were like, ah, we are going to sleep with Jesus Christ. How? Yeah, we are going to look at the types of intimacy and then we know where we fall. And another thing, maybe we could say, is that the innermost thoughts is the innermost qualities. About the innermost qualities. And it is an act of connecting with someone deeply you feel and you can see into their soul. So their life, like you know when you're deep with someone, you begin even to experience their soul, their life, their life you begin to experience it. Now, now you would know the heart of God. Because when you are dipped with Him, you begin to you begin to understand and feel the heart of God. So you don't you don't you don't speak as as you feel, but you speak as God feels. And maybe uh, we now when we want to do with Christ uh, the intimacy we are talking about. Christ is is how your animals is being dipped towards Christ. And and also in the same way how Christ expresses himself with your innermost being. 
Christo na engeli jela gamu jodi no mtu wa womunda that you begin to, to you begin to okay experience his influence mm -hmm. over time otandika okuliranga ina byako na mugula mugu and uh, and nobody you get to what we call union with Christ. And of course we are going to look at some some scriptures. Uh, let's look at 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 6 verse 17. And someone is going to also uh, read it for us Song of Songs chapter 3 verse 1 to 4. Yeah, one to four. Yeah, but first, first story, six, verse 17. Mamienti, na ye e data ni mkama wafe, we moyo kumu. Chikomea. Yes. But he who is joining to when you when you intimate with Christ, you become, you become one. Go we gata na Christu, ofukomu. Like for example, if you get married to your wife, and uh, and of course you begin to express yourselves. No, you, and of course you start expressing. Then with time the flesh becomes one. And, uh, and of course, we looked at uh, the sexual union. Uh, uniting with a prostitute. Yeah, yeah, so you get joined and then you become one person. And, and it's the same thing to do with the church and Christ. You get joined, when you get joined with Christ, you become one in the spirit with the Lord. In other words, you're getting married to Jesus Christ. So, what, and, and how, how, would, how would the, the people who have become one behave? That's what we're going to look at. And, and what kind of level have they reached? So, let someone can read for us again a song of songs from. Yeah? From one to four, chapter, it is chapter three. From one to four, someone can read for us. We are going to soak up a couple of them. Ah, to come and see. A chirop shana shange, na no yonsaja, e me me ya ngo ya ya gala, ngo ya gala. Na muda onya, na es na es simula ba. Na muda onya, na es simula ba. Orokubiri. Nejo ke na nchi, na goro koka kaka no, ne chambula chambula mchivuga. Mungu dunia mubi very gazi, na no nyomusajja, ememe yangu kwa yaga la, na muno onya, na inesimula ba. Oroksa. Abakumi abat chambula chambula mchivuga, ne vanda ba. Ne vanga ba nchi muna biyo ememe yangu kwa yaga la, orokuna. Na ni ba isero katono, ne damo ememe yangu kwa yaga la. Nemunyweza, nesikiriza kumuta. Okutusa rena mwale leta mnyumba ya mange. Nemusege choyo, anzala. Chiko miyao. Nze mmanye aba mkufe. Tuko lesa eshita wa chinonga tuko anaba chala. Yeah, but now we are going to understand what did it mean. Katuga na tegela, cha tegeza. Now, in my English version it says, Miyange gamba. By night on my bed I thought the woman I love, I, I sought him, but I did not find him. I will arise now, I said, and go about the city in the streets. And in the squares, I will seek the one I love. I sought him, but I did not find him. The watchmen who go about the city found me. I said, have you found, have you seen the one I love? Verse 4. Scarcely had I passed by them. 
Fani tuwaka wani nisinganya I found the one I love Nenda boye mbebe ya ngekwe ya gara I held him Ne mungweza And I wouldn't let him go Ne simuga na kugenda And I until that Until I had brought him to the to the house of my mother, and and into the chamber the chamber of one who conceived me. Now, this this book is more poetic. So it was not talking about the, the, the husband and the wife. It was an expression of a church that loves Christ. It was, it was an expression of a Christian who has joined Christ. Because of the love he has for him from the innermost. So it is talking about the innermost qualities of this person towards this person. So the the innermost qualities of this person towards this person. So it wasn't really talking about uh, about you know the love of the world that you know. That you, when you get to join with Christ, you become one. And whenever you don't see Like now this 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 woman okay I'm going to just describe as a woman This woman was was feeling like she needed someone he loved whom the soul was yearning for and he went he went to do the city by the night to look for the one that he loved and of course She searched and searched and searched until he found him. And she said that I won't, I won't leave him. I will hold him tightly. And now, what kind of confession are you making towards Christ with your soul and spirit? Is your innermost feeling the expression of Jesus Christ words? Because his love towards the church he has poured upon it. Now, of course, of course, now this this woman for, for her, she's basing everything on the love with the innermost for her soul. And She longs or she yearns to be united with the one she loves. Ate, aya yana okubanga ayungitwa koyo gwayagala. And the mosque, the mosque is out there in the world. And I'm going to say this thing here on one see. Yes, someone would write a letter. Omuntu akwandikira barua. I am I am on my bed in the night right now. I am yearning for the one I want. I can't find him. And when I find him, I'll hold him tightly. And and then and then you go on your bed and read the letter and sleep with the letter. And it was coming from song of songs chapter 3. So this one is talking about intimacy with Christ. How you join how you join yourself with your innermost with Christ. So intimacy with Christ is how you how your innermost being is deep towards him. And how Christ expresses himself towards you in your innermost. So these are the qualities like of the innermost expressed to be united with Christ. Or sometimes it can be defined as being deep with Christ with your innermost qualities. Now, of course, we, we, we need to know the innermost qualities. Now, 
Kunda. When we talk about the thoughts, we talk about the intellectualism, we talk about the emotions, we talk about your, the mental, your, your mental, I don't know how they call it. Your, your mentality and perception your soul and the spirit how, how they get expressed in most towards Christ and be joined with him now when you look at this in, in song of songs chapter 3 He's talking about the, 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 the church or the woman that loves I'm not talking about the woman but I'm using that, that as a metaphor but the church that loves Christ and sits after Christ and you are that temple of Christ so on your bed what did you think about in your search who are you searching for and when you find Christ what do you do with him that is what the chapter is talking about. And uh, most Christians, of course, of course, we are going to look at the misconceptions they do have. Uh, I've been crucified with Jesus. But when you look at the perception and the thing of this person, they have never been with Christ. The innermost expression should be outside expression. How you feel towards a person is what you do for them. And in fact, the, the innermost speaks louder than even the physical one. And that's why God says that I look at your innermost. Because physically you could do something, but your innermost is not connected with what you're doing. You can come to church right now, but physically you're here, but your soul, your spirit, your inner body, your thoughts, perception, everything is at home, or it is at the wife you left at home. Yeah, some, someone can read for us Psalm 63 verse 1. We are still at the definition level. We are still understanding the intimacy processes. Where when you reach the desert, what do you do? Do you thus for Christ? Or you cry because you're lacking food? Because if your flesh, your flesh must thirst for Christ to be crucified. And under the soul, it is the innermost. And the flesh is one for destruction and subjection to death. And this is David. He was he was in the desert. Or he was in there is another word they normally use for the desert. What is that word they normally use? No? Wilderness. Yes, wilderness, yes. He was in the wilderness and he was seeking the Lord. And he wanted, like, that even though there was no water, it means that he was going through a tough time. But his soul, his, his soul was trusting for Jesus Christ. And, and his flesh was longing for him. So how does your flesh long for Christ? 
to be to be to be fed with good food is what? To be painted, to be perfumed, what? You know? So how you feel inside when you have the innermost for Christ? Now, your body longs for, for crucifixion of our Lord Jesus Christ. So that the world is not going to take it away. And that's why David was saying, my, my flesh longs for you. It is looking for Christ's crucifixion so that it can serve God the right way. So now we can read, uh, someone can read for me song, song of Songs chapter 1 verse, verse 1 to 4. Uh, 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 verse 1 to 4. Uh, verse 1 to 4. Uh, verse 1 to 4. Olokobi. A Maftago Gaunyakaro, sir. A linear yo, leading under Maftag of Kiwa. A all about a man in Mosadja, Chebaba Quaga, Rokuna Mpalula, Tuna Kukoveda, Tuna Kukoveda, and Biro. Kabaka and Ying is the Zam of his Tunakusanyukira etujaguza okwagala ko tunakogera ko okusinga omwenge bako agala lwansonga chikomya The song of songs which is Solomon's Olinga Rasulaimani verse 2 let him kiss me with the kisses of his mouth leka anywengere nemi mwaji for your love is better than wine kubanga okwaga ko kusinga envinyo because your fragrance of your good ointments and your name your name is ointment poured forth therefore the virgins love you draw away draw me away we will return after you the king has brought me into his chambers. He will be glad and rejoice in you. We will remember your love more than wine. Rightly do they love you. Now when you reach at this scripture, the second grade students, how they were using it. With a corrupted mindset. Remember, remember we are looking at the clearing of the conscious. Your perception and your view on how the world sees things. Versus the things of God. So I sent someone this scripture. I said, You read through so that we, 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 we learn it and see how to, to interpret it. And she said, Oh, yes, Sue, is this one from God? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sue, so this is uh, this is the Bible uh, Christians have not invented another Bible. This is the, the real Bible. But what is the kind of poetic uh, way that Solomon is trying to, to, read, to read the church. Now he's using an expression of a woman and a man who loves this woman. No, and he's, he's, he look at he looks at the, the physical intimacy of this of, of these two. 
Bible. But this is this is just specifically about the church. But it is kind of poetic to the church. So it explains the expression of Christ towards the church. And how does the church express in return? Uh, in return so it is only talking about the intimacy with Christ. Now you can see that the, the lady was responding in a praise, in a worship way. But your love is better than wine. Why does love be better than wine? Because wine gets bad. It changes your perception and thinking. But why love makes you discerning? And makes you uh, have harmony with so many people around you. And love joins you with grace and God. And he goes ahead and says that explains. That's why the virgins uh, love you. Yes, so Garachi, Embera, Ziquadora, and you. Our corrupted mind said, Cato, Mutraina, and take it a lunica. You will say, Ha! I can't understand this, but, but what is going to mean? We're the virgin in Christ. Cati, Embera, um, Christiani. This is the person who, ha, who has set up. Or has up for himself aside. And he has been joined with Christ to serve God only. But even though he has met her, I don't know how many men in her life, but she has decided to come and serve God. And now God will treat that person as a virgin before Christ. Now, of course, you are talking about kiss me with your kisses and all that, but that one is just a metaphor. Yeah, he was looking at, of course, uh, Solomon was a human being. Solomon, Sulaiman Yari Muntu. And I think he loved so many women. So he understood poetically how these things were working during those times. So if you cannot kiss someone who you don't, you're not intimate with. Like the expression of it is for someone that it comes from the inside of a person. And it means there is a step you have taken with that person. So I can't just find you there. Say, hey, 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 come and kiss me, come and kiss me. It won't work like that. So it is an expression coming from the innermost. Now, if you are a virgin, you are expressing the virginity of Christ. So that is a kind of poetic way that Solomon wanted the church to understand. How you get intimate with Jesus Christ. And how you express yourself towards Jesus. Because his love is better than that one of wine. Now his love is better than that one of wine. Wine gets bad and it makes human beings silly and folly. But while the love of Jesus Christ saves humanity, it makes human beings silly and folly. That's why it is better than the wine. Ah, when those girls could write that, that they write a carreta, then 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 down there. They put dedications. Well, I want to get Balu and Gazo. Now, I think I'm a take up for you, but I'm here. My handsome. Now, I'm going to go. Your life is better than wine. Now, if you've never taken wine, where you didn't even know wine. So you have to go and test the one I see. How, how, how has my love surpassed that one of wine? So, uh, so many people 
people in the world they have been corrupted with the mindset of the world. And so they do not understand the poetic way of what Solomon was meaning towards the church. Yeah, but she was trying to express the intimacy of Christ. Towards the Christ. That when he expresses his influence upon you, it must bring out your innermost praise and worship towards him. It must awaken the love towards his name. And that's why he was saying here. Uh, uh, let, let him kiss me with the kisses of his mouth For your love is better than wine Because of the fragrance of your good ointment Your name, your name is ointment poured forth Therefore the virgins love you Now when, 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 the, when the, the expression of Christ no, when the expression of Christ, Christ himself. Christ, Christ. Now, when he expresses himself to you, now you begin to get the innermost worship and praise towards his name. You don't just speak the name Jesus. You speak the name Jesus. But you know where it is coming from and you know what it does for you. Because it is an ointment towards your soul and spirit. That's what Solomon was trying to mean. So when you understand the name of Jesus Christ, and it is an ointment. Uh, uh, an ointment. You people normally use ointments, right? Uh, I don't know. Do you, you know them? Eh? Like sometimes you find uh, you have a problem. Uh, and those who are used to Chapambalas, I think we are not born uh, in this century. We were born in 1980. 1980, right? Yeah. They are fixed such ointments. Now, the, 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 their work is for healing, right? Yeah. Instant healing, taking all the things that disturb you. So, like his name is like anointment. And when you speak that name, you speak from the innermost. How it means your journey with Christ, you begin to understand. For example, you see, you could call Jesus, another person calls Jesus, and for you call Jesus like seven times and nothing is done. Jesus. Now it means how are you connected with Jesus Christ with your innermost? You don't say I test you away in the name of Jesus Christ uh, for preachers. That name is not an ointment to you. You know what it means? It's an ointment to you. So the virgins are coming to Jesus Christ on the Sunday because of his name. People want to serve Jesus Christ because of his name. So now, this uh, Psalms of Psalms chapter 1, verse 1 to 4, it expresses the kind of worship when and praise when you feel expression of Jesus Christ within your soul and spirit. So it expresses how a woman loves a man in intimacy, in this case referring to the church and Christ, towards, towards 
towards the bride. Like you see, uh, those who are married, I don't know how you do it at your home. I don't know whether your husband's name is better than wine. Is, that, is it better than the one of the neighbor? Because I know where I have. The other one has a good name, it's called Davis. And uh, for you, your name is Biawat. Uh, <laughs> Even when she tries to to cut it short, it's cut. So now you you don't like the part, you're not connected to the person. His name is also also another one. But but you see this lady, she's expressing herself toward the name of Jesus Christ. Like of what the Christ or the his love for the church and she's deeply uh what is, i think deeply in love with christ just like like you can be at your home with your husband and he does things that you did not expect from him you didn't even ask for them and then you, you see that oh he said surprise this baby come 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 i want surprise you yeah, see what is outside there. There is there is a car. There is a brand new motorcar Benz. Ha and you say, yay, 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 yay. So now we how do you return the praise for what has been done for you? What kind of worship are you bringing back? Is what what uh, Solomon is trying to express in songs of songs. So it is not about the church and I am the temple, you're the temple, and the, the, the word of grace should be like this woman in song of songs. Yali, I you get a Kumukwano of a Christian Kanisa, Boria Karuna and Ye Karu, and Snakes and Patuno Banga to Niki the word to you. Yeah, so there must be a daylight and riches within your soul. There must be a daylight, like, like you, you delight in, in what you, yeah. Or in now Umanga or Sanukida and rejoice with your soul and this is not coming from a lasting person a lasting person does not bring things from the innermost and many people are lasting after Christ but they are not intimate with Christ he said oh his name can, can heal you me also, let me go and I see what I get from him. Now, that, that person is lasting after Christ, is not after loving Christ. Does not care where the things are coming from, but what he wants is the things. But when you when, when you look at this lady, drawn to the point that she is expressing a desire for the things of the Lord. Draw me away. We'll run after you, and the king has brought me into his chambers. Now she's not even afraid of being taken away where, where Jesus Christ was, where this man was. So you can see that she was expressing from the inner, but she's willing to go wherever they are going. So her expression of the innermost was towards him. There may be someone who can also read for us Psalm 63 uh, from 6 to 8. Psalm 63. Bwena kujuhi lidanga, 
When I could do it out, Sanda Changi, when I grow old as Anga, we smoke a bit chill. Waka Vera Mobes Zuangi, and I'm sick in the Chevy or what's no view when I sang you Kiranga. A bebe and a fuka, a fuga, or who go vera, or Konogo, what Joe, go panida, come out. Yeah, though your brother has not brought it away. Verse 6 to 8. When I remember you on my bed, I meditate on you in the night watches. Because you'll be my help. Therefore, in the shadow of your wings, I will rejoice. My soul follows you close behind you. Your, heart, your right hand upholds me. I remember I was in seniors, was senior three. Someone wrote me a letter and gave me, and okay, she gave, she she wrote, she, okay, she wrote it like this. <laughs> she said, I, when I remember you on my on my bed, I meditate upon you. I was like, Mama. <laughs> so I, I actually I went and I, I wasn't reading the Bible. I went and looked for it. See, these girls, where do they get their love from? And where the heaven does he get even the scriptures from? Now, from a mindset of a worldly person, now, we used to, okay, we used to bring these scriptures into our free so that they may work for us. Yeah, but David here was explaining something different. She's speaking, she's, she's intimate with Christ, with God. That when I remember you on my bed, I meditate on you right in the night watches. This person takes time to think about God. This time, this person takes time to meditate upon what God has done. His soul longs after God. And he's joined with Christ. Because this scripture is coming from a person who has been intimate with God. So when you're reading the Bible, what are you seeing in the scripture? Or you just use it for, you, for the sake of you. But David is expressing his, he cannot hide his feelings towards God. And as uh, and when he sit when he sits on the bed. In the night, maybe around midnight, there where, where other people are doing other things for him, he's just thinking about God. But what should I do for God tomorrow? What does he want me for the other service? Did I even do it rightly with him? Oh, so he's meditating upon God in the night watches. He's speaking about the expression of, of his innermost towards God. And he's speaking intimacy. When you're chatting with a person, I don't know how you got married, but if you got married for physical things, there is no intimacy there. And that marriage is on the verge of even getting away. Because 
like intimacy is the one that makes up the marriage. Your innermost to the innermost. Yeah, like uh, many people get married because of uh, sexual intercourse. <laughs> when you see that girl, she will be very good in bed, then you get married to her. And you reach there and you find things are different. So there is no intimacy there. So you are not united. Just because you see, the definition is the innermost joining the innermost. Because And and let me tell you in fact. Actually, uh, I have made some sort of research. That there are very few men except those who are possessed by demons. Who last just after sex. But most of the time. 90% are looking for intimacy with the, with the man. But I have found that many men are possessed by demons. And you feel about them. Your perception towards them. Your inner towards you feel towards them. But the, uh, I don't know the Ugandan marriage is the, the, all what they think is just ending in bed. That is the whole, only thing they know in the world. Now that is not intimacy we are talking about. So just like the way you intimate with your woman, it's the same way that Christ seeks to intimate with you. With your innermost being, your innermost qualities, and we with all your soul expression, the spirit. The so meditate and see how you intimate with it. I don't know those who are married, those who are not married, I'm sorry. But those who are married, think about how you, you express yourself towards your woman, your man towards your wife. How do you do it? Because if it is only sex, then you are a prostitute. If it is only things that you lasted after, after, then you are a prostitute to that man or to that lady. So if you sought to be joined with Christ because of the things that he has, then you are just a prostitute, you are lasting after his things. So this, this, the, the marriage, the marriage should be more of intimate than the other way around. Now, let me tell you, of course we are going to look at the advantages of intimacy. Yeah, our mindsets have been corrupted so much. Only, the, only th the only thing people think about is just sex in the marriage. So now that that one, yes, it is there, it is there for progression and others. But if it is the center of where you're getting married, then, then you're going to get I, I, I think it will be very bad for you. And if there are only things you're lasting after, my friend, you have a wrong perception, a misconception about intimacy. So now we're going to look at what are the misconceptions about intimacy with Christ and also with this our normal intimacy that we have? So Christ of course Christ seeks to to cleanse our conscience so that we may have their genuine intimacy with him. Christ Number one, misconception number one. 
It is called partial spiritism. Yeah, partial spiritism. It, it happens occasionally. For example, I'm just going to use a picture of a married person at home. Yeah, uh, when, when a man leaves man at home, maybe let's say, he says, ah, oh, my wife is a present with a one million. That, he puts it there. Now the spirit, the, that spirit changes. Ah, you see chicken in the manner you're, you're beginning you see chicken, you see rice, you see whatever many things that in that manner oh, yeah, uh, even the names change the one who has been calling you Runya, he will call you Honey no, 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 to be no, 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 you only remember them when you receive a big thing. Maybe the environment has changed, the money has changed the environment. So you say, uh, honey, uh, when shall we go for a vacation? So you got money, and we are, you know, honey, we have been looking for this money, let's go out. Now, most Christians, Live a life they think they are being spiritual on that day. For example, it could be a Sunday or during a prayer time. And uh, when, we, when they say, have a soul and we pray. Oh, King of Glory. King of Glory. Jesus, Jesus. You're my sweetheart, Jesus. You're the only one I think about. Jesus. Oh, yes, glory, glory. Now, that is a, a misconception. You're not making any intimacy with Christ. It is not occasional. It is not changed by some sort of atmosphere. Yeah. When you don't have the money, what are you going to say? You chase away even things from you. Even things from then when you have the money, even to worship the Lord in the right way, Lord. But when you have the money, so, oh King of Glory. Jesus, there is no one like you. You even feed the poor like me. Yeah. <laughs> Now, many Christians, they create some sort of environment to have, in, to have intimate with Christ. Yet their desires are not with Jesus. Yet their desires are not with Jesus. But because there is an atmosphere that has changed them, then they, they show that they are intimate with Jesus. And even you find that some of them are still in the world. So they eat like, like so they want uh, uh, to intimate with Christ during an atmosphere that when they are feeling good. So when they are feeling good, yes, Jesus is wonderful. And even the, the, the tone changes, you say, this is an angel I've been looking for. Oh, king of glory, king of glory, but Jesus. They even put a kawo in the name of Jesus. Now, 
But when things are bad, Jesus. 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 Jesus, what have I done to you? Others are receiving a reason. Mine have never come Jesus. What did I do to you? Now, that is kind of partial spiritism. It's a lie. You're not intimating with Christ. You're not joined with Jesus. So it is a misconception. It is a sort of a religion, kind of. But it's not, it's not with Christ. So, and, and sometimes, it means that your, your soul or your innermost has never changed. So let, let, let's look at uh, uh, 1 John 2:15-17. It talks about the world within the person. 1 John chapter 2, 15, 17. Tukambia <laughs> For anyone, for anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. And it is not of the Father, but of the world. So the world is passing away. And the last of it, but he who does the will of God abides for Now, when the world, when the love of the world is still in you, you always have what you call partial spiritism. Everything does not come from the love of the Father, but it comes from your love of the world. So you, you become spiritual occasionally. And now, that one you're not making any intimacy with Christ, it's not related with Jesus Christ. So by attending a Sunday service does not mean that you're making any intimacy with Christ. Now, that could be just occasional. No? But Number two, misconception. Let's look at over why, okay, over hyped spiritual environment. Over hyped spiritual environment, like uh, yeah. it does not mean it was with Christ. For example. As, as you can create a spiritual environment uh, and then uh, you put lights glittering like, lights glittering you put the carpet you put everything there to, to, to meditate how the heaven is you and uh, you put the music in the background. No, take on the music. Glory, 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 glory. Then the keyboard man. Then when a bishop is at the door, this is the right church. I am with God. 
in fact the one had this thing. It is over height spiritual environment, the misconception is not intimate with Christ there. And and of course sometimes if it is not a church, some people can make theirs at home. So you search Jesus Christ for wrong reasons. So intimacy with Christ is, is beyond created environment. It is not lasting after the environment how things are. And I have heard that some Christians they say to, to show that they are very serious. Bagamba, oh Lord, tonight I'm not going to sleep on my bed. Today it is for you. And then he gets a mat. And then he sleeps so that the Lord will come and talk to him on the mass. You overhyping spiritual environment. Yeah, and, and some address themselves. God, these problems have taken me for a long time. Let me show you my nakedness, and you will be also ashamed. <laughs> Lord, I am here! <laughs> you don't know what is happening. <laughs> you are not making any intimacy with Jesus. You are using trickery. <laughs> So now this is not uh, like it's a misconception. It's not another way of how you're intimate with Christ Jesus. So by you embracing and showing and yourself to God naked, show that uh, yeah, men maybe men have left you, maybe you're bad sometimes. It's not showing that you're intimating with Christ. You're trying to manipulate God. You're trying to trick God. So that you gain what you want. And that is not the kind of intimacy that Jesus Christ is looking for. It seems some sort of trickery and bargain that you want to get what you are looking for. And, and, and in fact, some, some people make it over exaggerated. They say, Lord, you have created to me, and I have had your word. I will make you sure. I do what you tell me. Every law I will follow. Even when they tell me it's this food I will eat. If I can reach heaven. Yeah, now you're creating a spiritual environment. Some, some sort of heroism. Hero. <laughs> yeah, so that. Yes, exactly. But you're not, you're just doing the games. Those are the games. Those are tricks. It is not coming from the innermost. But it is coming from the lasting of the flesh. So it's not the atmosphere that brings God. Or it's not, it's not that the one that creates intimacy with Christ. But what brings Christ is how you're standing with him. 
willingness to live sin, to live the world, and amend your way straight with God. So already that is an environment created for you. So whatever tricks you're using, whether you sleep in water, and tomorrow's and tomorrow you're in a bar. That one is just trickle. You're not you're not looking to intimate with Christ. Lord, to show you that I'm very serious. And it is a punishment to show you that I am very serious. I will be on the shower. <laughs> I will sing for you nice songs. Oh Lord, how wonderful you are. The whole night you're on the shower, but then you put hot water. <laughs> yeah, you're doing tricks. <laughs> now, that one does not move Christ from his seat to come to you and attend to you. So it is a misperception. Like a created or an exaggerated environment does not show that there is a presence of the Holy Spirit. I wonder whether the presence of the of God was there in the Quran. Was there a presence of God? Of course it was because it didn't come to the, the wise men there. So they need to the background. Ah. Uh -huh. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> glory, glory, glory. <laughs> you find a person you say he has been with Jesus yesterday. And, he, and in fact he, he loves him. Don't you see how even him don't you see even how he raises? Oh God, this is the right man of God. Don't talk about the man of God. He has just created an exaggerated environment. He's dealing with your perception. He's dealing with your mind. He's tricking you to believe that he's serving God. So what about the crowd? So the crowd did have the presence of God, people went there to worship Jesus. So, misconception, like creating an environment. To show that you're intimate with Christ, that one is not. So uh, there is no environment that you can create that can change and move God to you. So you do not have to treat God. You do not have to, to do some sort of, of manipulation as if God is a child. I when you're drinking a child to drink the water, or maybe something that is that is that is bitter, you say, Oh Chipuku, my daughter, my darling, then you give her. Then she finds it's very bitter. That is not God. So I don't know whether you so it's better you prepare your way. You straighten up your ways. Your willingness to leave the, the sin. To leave the word and let your ways be synced with Jesus Christ. That one will move God from his seat to look for you. So it, it goes back on how you are yearning for God. Are you, are, are you looking for what he has? Are you looking to serve with him? So it depends on how you are getting connected to God. Let's read John 6, 22, 32.
Or in Edi? From 22 to 32, John 6. Over four million mobili. Paka asatu mobili. I mean mobili at Gambanti. Or Napo Rokubili. If she may not shall be she will be the Tarawinia Ija. We are about to tell you that Dara, what lady move, and I'm going to yes soon. That's how I do one more yard to Nabai is Wabi. Nayabai is Wabi, the Wagenda woke up. I will be such. Nayamata, Gabi, Tiberia, Gagoba Kumpi, Nature Valley, and you got to come up with it. Where am I? Oh, whoever's a big one. I wish you never were mad among the to tell you. No one quite up, I did his Wabi. Bob and Yin never suffer, dear Momato. Gari never jet up in the old Gabanonia is a very good time. We are a very Tarawina and Bamugama and Tilapi. Oh, Zeddy Wano, a very mocker. Yes, now Adam and Gamanti. Daradara Bagamanti, Munonia, Sikubanga Malaba. Oh, what a young man of one of the Gati, the Mukuta. A very good Sekwa <laughs> あ、俺はもう頑張って彼がこれで地区へ高校を取らべ、ちょっきりせ。怒らもりもち、朝とものも。バケンジャペバリーだけマンの道具。だべしゃわりきわんち、やばいメロクリア、やばもんこ。あれ
So basically, even the, the approach they are using is, is different, and Jesus Christ realizes that these are tricking him to get what they want. And Jesus answered them and says, Most assuredly, I said to you, you seek not me. Yeah, because of, of the signs all you saw, but because you ate loaves of bread and you were filled. That when people, that, now Jesus Christ is explaining, when people are very okay, yes, that's when they see the goodness of Jesus. Yeah, glory, 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 King of heaven, King of earth. There, there, just know there is something in the pocket. <laughs> but when there is nothing in the pocket, you find somebody like a mad person. Jesus Christ, you promised us, and your word said, You will receive no I've been knocking for the last one day. Jesus. You're looking for the bread. <laughs> but when you get the bread, ah, you will never hear such scriptures in, in the passage. <laughs> so So now that is a misconception I try to look at. That is not a way of how you intimate with Christ. Those are, those are long, wrong reasons seeking Jesus Christ. That is kind of trickery that you want to do with Jesus. Number three. Number three, misconception number three. Knowledge of the scripture. Yeah, knowledge of the scripture does not mean that you are intimating with Jesus Christ. So the knowledge of the scripture does not necessarily mean that this person is one in Christ. And having scriptures for every situation does not mean that you are united with Jesus. And you know the proclaim and say God loves the way you are and he does not care about the outside even if I'm half naked God knows that I'm with him and if you find her in the worship my friend you say it yeah, 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 yeah. That is that, that is a child of God. But but the the same Bible says that when people stumble over you, and therefore you should be they should get a stone and they put you deep in the sea. So it means that the knowledge of the scripture is not helping you to be united with Christ. So having a spiritual kind of, of, of scriptures, grabbing them, knowing their verses and all that does not mean united with Christ. Rather, the scripture should be in you and have a light in you. It's not just speaking the scripture John says. That says the Lord. So the knowledge of the scripture or having a hundred scriptures in your head does not matter. What do you do with the knowledge of that scripture? And that is what matters, and that is what Jesus Christ is looking for. So, intimacy is beyond the knowledge of the scripture. And if your mind, if your mind is changed or transformed, it cannot tell you to walk half naked. 
If your inner voice has been changed and transformed, you cannot just move naked the way you want. Now, let's read John 5, 39 42. Let us read John 5, 39 42. Maybe we can also get something there. That line, that line is 42. I said to Muenda Paka, and I am Obibit. I took up the empty Muno Yamobia and Dikiwa. Muno Yamobia and Dikiwa. Kuanga Momoro was anti Mumpio, Molly no Bramo Tabua. Never take it against Bia, Ebiangi. It has a more girl of See what Nayemba take it them way, Mokwaka Lakatunda, Tekubari Mu, and Amosat. Zenaja Molina Yes, you can stop there. Mine says, and these are the ones that aspire of me. But you are not willing to come to me that you may have life. I do not receive honor from men. But I know you that you do not have the love of God in you. Now, these are words of Jesus Christ. You could search all the scriptures in the Bible and have them in your head. And you think you have a better life by having them in the head. But yeah, even actually, even a drunkard, you can find her, or maybe him at Tosha there, and he's speaking even scriptures very nicely. And he says, For God sent, sent his son to the world. And whoever believes in him shall not have, uh, shall have eternal life, but not go to the other way. Now, even a drunkard can have that in his mind. But he says, It's not how much you, you get into the scriptures. Remember that book of Musana? 
Yes, we have a lot of questions and then we go into a small ship and then we pray. Yes, we have a lot of questions. We have a lot of questions. What is the intent? Is it to know Christ? You're coming off your bed to understand Christ? Or you're, you're going, maybe something has refused. You say, let me treat God a little bit. And he can see me and hear me. But what I'm talking about is using that as a way, like, as if you're intimating with Christ to get something. Like for, like for example, there is something you're looking for, and you say, let me sleep on this match like five nights, and maybe Jesus Christ will see my seriousness. Now, that one would be different. Now, if you, cause, if you say, I am separating myself to serve the living God, to pray to God, I am not understanding these things they are teaching. Maybe I need like some three days to pray about it and understand it. Now, that is different because you're looking, you're, desire, you're desiring to intimate with Christ. But there is somebody treating you because he wants to get something. Yeah, you, you bring, yeah, you say now let me sleep in the water, in the basin, so that God can know I am serious. No, that is not what we are talking about. That is misconception. There is nothing you are doing with Christ. If you separate yourself for the work of God, it makes sense. Yeah, I hope I don't get misunderstood. 
Uboli kupe katane Christ Mchinamo cheyakuwa Uboli kuchimunti manyi Aizo kuletu Uganda Nga yasoma nyo Nga chizimu nyo kukulirana Kati nga wa mkule Tira keshirako chuli na ngolusi Aizo kubanga ye chizimu nyo kuchifunu Na ye mba kuleta na mesiji Engeli jote anilizamu Ye kupima Okulaba Uli mkwe gata mwune kristo Uli china mwuchi ya kuwa Uwa uli chimu Mze manji Mukama May God bless you Namanya yesu wa kuwa mkisa Uwa na kujama zima gajira yu Na yongero kukwa sanga wa ya gala Kumanga tutu Dewa wano wano wetuli yuganda Yonei wano nesi yonina Na yoti manjiti ya mirundi minji Banji tuzo wano kuwana mafuta gano Na inga tatumaji katuonda chia tule Tina wano nti ensiyo neri nzefe O kujinja yomu duvijeri Tuteketeke ensiyo na Oloko maukua mloko zokuwa mrundi Oloko hili Tunja kunonya bintu Ela katuonda kareta eti Nga wenga sene yesu Botege la isi na hili Obotege te katuonda nesiyo ya tukene jinu nula Nenda la kutegeza katonda aletoa na itikaza Badi ya nesende ziba kweko Ogena kula wanga amafuta negari yu Amafuta negari yu Negari yu Negari yu Ena wana langazamu mbuzega Atenga zinu wakukula kubanga Musuma isa nuluwa ina na Yayoke anagama tibu wabanga Itamukubona hono Ukubati zuwa kukubona hono Chitenge ni chogenda chita Mutachikisa Obani yoko bani Tachikisa Nukula yu katonda yagende Nilubaga lodi yungu nyaga guja Nega la gaba tu kabla kenda, nega la kutegeza amenda sene sukuri sukwa stonga mbele. Nzetu saba tuenga tena mukama wa feya sukuri sukwa tuenda tunulensi. Kwa nanga na wana yake la kuruto yake la tige na munga. Don kose muri mabuya ya kuokola. Don tia tige ndam. Kwa nanga kutegeza ya sukuri sukwa tutegeza katondo mo amazima. Kwa tugeenda tugeenda tia ni kwa nanga msaada la mutenga wao. Tutegeza katonda tulete tumanye tumutege. Nganama kuto chanda zanya mtuga zanyisa Wabula chuchuke Tuwelenye Bine vila la nyongeza Tugene tununulama wanga Gani mkukawa Ngatuga la unga mna mkume leogu tukilu Noga kumamu okuyaya na uko kumanya katona Tuwege tredane mkama wafi Yesu Kristo Ngatetumuno nyako bintu Wabula ngatumu wakari radala Kumanga tugenda kume rana ye Ngatuwega sana ye ngatumu weleza Aliyoka tuwema zoro kolo kudu Yesu wabongis there was a misconception some time back. There was a group of evangelists who used to go to the street. I think Gordon was one of them during the day. But there was the one gentleman called Mordokai. Yeah, this my he is remembering the man. So this man was very swift in his way of doing things. Whenever they were coming back from the street, he would make sure he had to sit near Papa. In so doing, his mentality used to tell him that you are tapping a lot of anointing from Papa. So every time they would come, he would make sure he was first. It was a perform. But still now I am not seeing him. I think he went with a lot of anointing and he's enjoying the anointing. God bless you. I think Pastor is talking about proximity. Now that is proximity. Now, uh, proximity is not being one with someone, but being near to someone, thinking you're going to be like them. And that is not impartation. I think we shall even look at impartation uh, in the prophetic ministry too. Yeah, thank you, Pastor Pasco, for the supplement. Uh, I think she has a question. If God gives you a gift, yes. it's the same thing that he's not also to make yourself think that you're in union with him. It's also the same thing. Yes, that's another misconception. What she was trying to talk about. Uh, that's on, on that point, but I'm, you're going to ask you another question. 
She's saying, Is it the same when you are having a gift does not mean you're, you're in union with Jesus Christ? No, the gift is just there to, to help the service of God. And it does, your, your presence of the gift does not guarantee one truth, two guarantee. Uh, or it does not constitute truth. It does not mean that you're saying the, what you're saying is true. So that is a misconception and it goes beyond with the scripture having knowledge of something or having a gift or all that's the same. So the Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 2 verse 16 to 17 it says the Lord is the same yesterday, today and forever. Like hypocrisy. Okay. Yes, that's it's also a fruit of Jezebel, right? Yes. Yeah, and, and, and to me, it's just like we say, this person is still partially in the world. Like, he's filled with the lo love of the world, but not the love of God. Yeah, you only, you only become spiritual when it's something you're looking for when you've been given something. That's very bad. And uh, you can see a girl in the choir singing, you say, ah, yeah, 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 we have found a, a new kid on the block. But the next day you find that she's married and then you never see her again. And she was just only doing, she was partially being spiritual to get what she wanted, she ran out. So all those are misconceptions and they do not, there is nothing to do with intimacy with Jesus Christ. So till next Sunday, we look at types of intimacy and we continue with purpose of intimacy. So we Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for your word today. And Father, we pray and seal this word with the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. From the powers of darkness, from principalities, and from the spirit of confusion. And Father, we pray that this word shall bear much fruit. Father, as we continue to look into the intimacy with Jesus Christ, that you teach us the right ways to unite with Jesus Christ. And it is the way, Father, that you came to the cross, that we may be united with Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And Father, we are looking at the intimacy, Lord. And we pray that, Lord, you guide us through. That you let this word continue to destroy the powers of darkness, shape our perceptions, clear our wishes, and also continue to speak life unto us. That, Father, in all, you will be glorified. We thank you, we glorify and glorify your name, and bless your name, in Jesus' name.